All right, guys, well, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I had to throw my hoodie on. It's a little chilly out here, and it is very windy right now. Uh, we're having like 30 mile per hour sustained winds, but it's supposed to die down to like 10 mile per hour-ish uh, as the sun goes down. So, fingers crossed that uh, it gets a little nicer out here. Uh, it's currently about 65 degrees, and tonight we have a low of 44, so it's going to be a little bit chilly. I have not thrown either of my heaters in the truck yet, so I don't have my buddy heater, and I don't have my electric heater, but I don't have electricity here anyways. But uh, we'll be plenty warm tonight in the back of the truck. Uh, I stopped at my local Hy-Vee and I picked up another beer, uh, something that I have never seen before. Uh, this is Ga Gaffel, Gaffel Kolsch, if you can see that. And uh, it says Kolsch beer brewed traditionally in Cologne, Germany. Or Private Brewery Gaffel Becker and Co. Cologne, Germany. Uh, since 1908. And that's really all it says. One pint, 4.8%. Uh, so we'll give this a whirl. Tasty. A little sour. Not a bad sour, but it's got a little bit of that sour flavor. It's occurred to me that at times maybe I should bring a glass or have a have something clear that I could pour this into because it would be interesting to see all the different colors and whatnot. I know that uh, I don't know. That's intriguing to me to see the color of the beer. And you can't really see it when it's in a can, but it's a tasty beer. It's a great campsite here, guys. I have never been to this spot before. There is a lake down here, and there are a couple of campsites down there, but I chose this one because the wind is blowing directly towards me, uh, and I've got a huge tree line right here. Uh, but there is a little path right here, so I think as we're waiting for the wind to die down, we'll sip on our beer and we'll walk down and take a look at the lake. So let's go check that out. Windy down here, y'all. But as you can see, there are a couple of campsites. There's one over there, uh, and there's one way over there. And these would be great spots, but I didn't want to just be down here getting blown by the wind, at least where I'm up over there. Uh, 
I have a nice break, nice wind break, but nice lake. There's a little dock right here. There's a boat ramp way on the other side. But it's just super windy down here and it's kind of cold. Uh, you guys can maybe see the, the leaves are starting to change colors here. So fall is definitely upon us. I'm gonna go back up in the truck. It's cold and it's windy and it's not very nice down here. Might lose my hat if I'm not careful. Well, I'm going to hang out for a little while, guys, let the sun drop, and uh, we'll get ourselves a fire going here, cook ourselves some dinner. We got all the spice, all the spice. So luckily somebody didn't leave a bunch of deadfall here and some junk to burn. We're going to start with this stuff before we get to our box of wood there. There's also a big hunk of wood in here. You guys can see that. So there's quite a bit of junk to start up. This is, this stuff's more than likely like pressure treated, stained. Obviously, so I'm going to burn this stuff first.
All right, I've got some bacon cooking on the fire. And tonight we are gonna go, we are gonna go with all the spices tonight. So, I've got a bag of groceries here. I have uh, bacon on the grill. I've got some bread here. This is Italian country sourdough. I have Kettle Brand Crinkle Cut Habanero Lime Chips. I have Kraft Big Slice Hot Habanero Monterey Jack with Jalapeno and Habanero Pepper Cheese. I've got some roast beef here, some slow roasted beef, just some sliced beef. Uh, I've got some Frito Jalapeno Cheddar Cheese. And... I have some Campbell's Chunky Spicy Steak and Potato Soup. It's extra spicy. But to top it all off, we're going to use some of a new hot, it's not a hot sauce, I guess. It's a barbecue sauce. It's Rufus Teague's made some sauce blazing hot. So I have loved his applesauce. But we are going to try the blazing hot sauce. Um, all right, so we're gonna do soup and sandwiches is what it's gonna be, and I've got some potato chips go on the side here. Um, bacon is cooking, so I need to get the soup on there. And then as far as the sandwich goes, we are gonna wrap this thing in foil. Uh, first, we're gonna let the bacon cook up a bit and get that pretty much done. And then we're gonna make our sandwich and wrap it in foil and we're gonna throw it on the grill. So we're gonna get our foil ready. I'm just going to go ahead and crack these open because I want to try one of these habanero lime chips. Crinkle cut. Those are pretty, pretty hot actually. Really good, but it's spicy. I still did not bring tongs with me. I left them at the house, so double forks to flip the bacon. Fire is very hot right now. Very, very hot. That is oh so good. All right. So as far as the sandwich goes, we're going to do cheese on both sides because cheese on both sides is always the best. Go ahead and get this thing kind of prepped up while the rest of that is going. 
Let's see how big these cheese slices are. Ooh. These big slices will cover an entire piece of bread, that's for sure. Ooh. Making a mess. But I'm going to go ahead and double up on the cheese for a new four slices of cheese because extra cheesy is always better. Make sure you take the paper off of them. All right. Next up, it's going to be the bacon. I think that's about done, to be honest with you. All right, so we've got some bacon cooked up here. And I'm trying to move some of this junk out of the way. Set the bacon down. Yeah, the fire is super hot. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slap our bacon. Ooh, we can fit like just whole pieces on there. Bacon. Three slices on each side. I think that's about right. We got one piece left over with three pipe, three pieces on each side. We're gonna chew on that one. All right. Next up, we're gonna add some of this Rufix Teague's blazing hot sauce. We're gonna slather this on both sides. It's thick. I had it in the cooler. Decent amount of sauce on both sides on the bacon and the habanero cheese. Bacon. Then in between that, we're going to add this sliced roast beef. We're going to slap this all together. Oof. And then we are going to wrap this up. We're going to toss that on the fire for a couple minutes. Bacon's already cooked, so we're just looking to melt the cheese. Get it nice and toasty. Stir our soup while we're at it. That thing is sizzling. All right, so hot and, hot and spicy beef and potato soup with a hot and spicy sandwich. Ooh, that is melty. Ooh, that is real melty. There's bacon right there. Where'd that come from? Look at that, crispified.
almost want to just cut this in half. Oh, look at that. Ooey gooey. Oh, look at that melty sandwich. All right, hot and spicy bacon beef habanero pepper jack cheese with the bacon oh. <clears throat> that is amazing and man it's got a kick that has got a kick Whew. I think that's the sauce. The sauce and the cheese. Mm. All right, let's try our hot and spicy soup. That hits the spot on a night like tonight. But I tell you, man, this sandwich is where it's at. God, look at that. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Do you see all the melty in there? Originally didn't plan to throw this on the fire. Uh, I was just gonna make a sandwich and cook the soup, but I am so glad that I toasted this over the fire. So much better. I'm getting hot over here. Yeah, y'all, I have uh, officially broken a sweat here. Mm. This is all really spicy. Really spicy. But just the perfect level, perfect flavor of spicy. I mean, look at that, it's, it's oozing juices. Mm. I'm over here sweating pretty good. That's spicy. This stuff has, has got a kick to it. That's for sure. What does it say on here? Rufus says be careful. This ain't no starter sauce. Oh, it's got a kick. But the ooey gooey sandwich, so good. I am stuffed and I am spicy. I am spicy over here. Uh, I'm gonna let this settle for a little bit. I might finish that up, but I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up and I'm gonna get headed into the truck. It's cooling off out here. Uh, and now that I've been sweating, I am going to get pretty cold pretty quick. It's 48 degrees right now, uh, just before 9 p.m. So, last bite maybe. I'll see you guys in the truck. Last bit of our dinner put away here. And let's 
get ourselves something going on the tube. Turn that on. Get myself changed into my pajamas here. So on Amazon Prime right now, or maybe it's Stars. Oh yeah, I have Stars on uh, Amazon through the, my Stars subscription. I have Zombie Lamb Double Tap. I've seen this before. I don't know if I've ever watched this for a video on here or not. But uh, if you guys haven't seen the original Zombie Land, definitely worth watching. But I'm gonna watch the second one, uh, and we're gonna watch it from beginning. Like I said, I've already seen it before and kick back and watch this it has been a bit of time since i've seen this i think i've only seen it once i think i watched it when it first came out on here but a uh, hilarious movie the first one's hilarious i don't really remember the second one but i've watched the first one numerous times It's just getting dark so early. We haven't even hit daylight savings yet. Welcome to Zombieland. Back for seconds. After all this time, well, what can I say? But thank you. We have a lot of choice. <sighs> <sighs> Good morning. Uh, it's light out. I don't know if the sun's really even up yet. Oh man. I didn't even make it through that whole movie last night. I went to sleep. I was tired. Stayed plenty warm. In fact, I got warm at one point and had to open the windows up a little bit more. Uh, uh. <sighs> Doesn't help if you touch the thermometer. It's like 48 degrees in here. my GoPro battery is so cold my GoPro won't work. Uh, I know GoPro just came out with a cold weather battery. I might have to pick one of those up for this year. Yeah. It's looking beautiful out there. It's also supposed to be incredibly windy today again, so I imagine that's not going to take very long to start. Oh. The sun just popped over the horizon. If you look out my front window here, look at that. Just popped over. It's cold when you're not under the covers. Oh. Yeah. Need some coffee. Let me get some of that coffee.
probably need to, yeah, I definitely need to pick up another fuel bottle. Tend to hard to drink out of this thing in here. I was gonna pick up new coffee yesterday actually and I forgot to do that also. I still have the <coughs> Jack Daniels coffee, but Jack Daniels! I've probably got enough for one more cup. I'm running out of Jack Daniels! It's not going to help me get any warmer. Definitely not going to help me get any warmer. It's gonna be a strong cup of coffee. I like my coffee strong. My Jack Daniels coffee. Oh man. Uh, I did hear a couple of gunshots this morning, but I'm at a lake where you can. Uh, waterfowl hunt so they're doing some waterfowl hunting out there I'm sure uh, probably like four shotgun sh blasts is what I heard right at first first light basically uh, and that's probably what woke me up uh, honestly uh, let me get my stocking cap <sighs> once again I'm gray sweatsuit boy over here. <laughs> That's all I've got. I own so many, so much gray and black clothes. It's ridiculous. Uh, I guess story time with that. When I was down in Las Vegas, Pilon gave me his new T-shirt uh, for his tattoos and stuff. Like, I've got one. I had one that he gave me last year when I met him, and it was black. And then he gave me the one this year, and it was white. And I don't. It's probably the only, it's the only white shirt that I now own, and I wore it for the first time last weekend, and I felt awkward, super awkward, and my wife was like, you look funny, because I have not, I'll have to wear it for a video, uh, yeah, 
everything I own is black and gray. And I think I have like one blue t-shirt, a built well shirt. But other than that, everything is black and gray. I don't know how I've gotten onto that, but it's just the way I am. I'm super gothic. I'm a, I'm a camp goth. Is that even a thing anymore? Goths? Even a thing? It was a thing in high school when I was growing up. Okay. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. Smells very nice. I always said I wasn't going to get into the fancy coffee, but I could grind some beans. And there you go. One thing that I have noticed with this one is if it's really hot when you push it all the way down and you close the lid, it can have enough force that it'll just pop it off the, it'll pop the lid up out of the seal since it's just a press fit seal. So I tend to just leave her open, but here we go. Coffee's ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Lights out. It really is a gorgeous morning, that sun poking me right in the eyeball. God, the leaves are all changing so quick. I bet we'll be gonna, I bet we'll have a uh, bare trees within the next couple of weeks. It's been surprising how fast the colors have changed. But uh, I also feel like that's just me getting older. Like, I think probably everybody out there can attest to that. As you get older, the years go by way faster. And, uh, yeah, everything just happens faster, it seems like. I don't know. I'm rambling. It's time to get out of here. Right, guys on the road uh, the coffee is tasty uh, I definitely want to get some different coffee and stuff to try and I might possibly buy a little grinder and grind some beans up I think it'd be it'd be a good time but uh, I am uh, I am headed home not sure what the next video will be I might have time to get something done to the truck and then I will probably be heading into Iowa to do a bit of camping and meet up with some homies. So stay tuned for that stuff coming up. Uh, but I had a great time last night in that sandwich. That sandwich was amazing. Uh, it was the, the key was heating it up on the campfire. Uh, had it not been all melty and gooey, it wouldn't have been near as good, I don't think. But uh, it was a great night. So yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.